God, this weather, are you kidding me? I guess no better time than now to talk about some short setups. Oh. Why? So today we're getting into short setups. And we always say, you know, in the most simple aspect, you take a bull flag and you just flip it looking for a short setup. But that's not always the case. We're much more specific than that. What we want to look for is trend breaking inflection points. We want to find the most tight inflection point where if the stock breaks higher or if it breaks lower, it's going to give a great entry regardless. So that's what we're focused on. So today we're going to go over three trades. We're going to go over a successful one from last quarter. We're gonna go over a trade I just uh, hit short yesterday that looks great, and uh, a short that I'm about to hit, and so we can look at the similar qualities in each. Let's go. All right, the first video I'm gonna do is on this HLF short, and I did a video on this, I believe it was March 29th or March 30th. All right, so here's what we're looking at when we're looking for a short. First off is you have to recognize where is the trend. We can see this hardcore uptrend in this growth name, HLF. The second part, we want to be seeing where it failed support. So we're seeing it come down to this first area of support, it bounces, 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 bounces. It keeps on bouncing. And then we see in this area right here, it tried to bounce and then it failed miserably. If this trend wanted to continue, it would have bounced in that area. The fact that this could not bounce at the support area tells us something is changing within this trend. So now we're looking at the support area much more closely and we want to see it flush through that area on high volume. We want to see two things happening. We want to see the volume increase because people are getting short for one and for two, people are getting stopped out. And that's exactly what we saw with this HLF. And look what happened to it. Thing got absolutely destroyed. Chart number two that we're looking at is this new relic, N-E-W-R. First off, where is the trend? Now, this is a software name. These names have been leading the market higher. We've, we've been looking at this new relic for a long off of this support. That's what we've been looking for this quarter. We see this day, June 3rd, followed by, and June 11th, two pivotal days for this stock, where it tried to bounce off this 94, 95 support area and then failed miserably. That was a huge clue that this stock was not ready to bounce. And then later, as it was getting tighter between 95 and 98, we were clued in on those two areas. I was not fully on board with shorting this stock yet. If it was going to break 98 to the upside, I was going to look to buy the stock in a support buy. Since it failed that area, I shorted it below support. There was no trade in there in this consolidation. We wanted to wait till either it broke mini resistance or broke mini support to either go long or go short. We wanted to wait for confirmation for the trade. And the last chart, that we're looking for a potential short in is this popular ink, BPOP, it's a bank, financial. So what we're seeing here is a strong upward trend. We're seeing over the past two or three weeks, this trend is coming down to this support area and it tried to bounce as it has bounced before. Since it cannot bounce, we, we think this trend could be done, it could be over, and I'm looking at this 52 support area as an area to get short. The second part I love about all of these charts, the HLF when we were looking to short it, where, when we were looking to trigger, as, long, as well as with New Relic, as well as this BPOP, the moving averages are all so tightly wound up, they're all so consolidated, that they're indicating the stock is ready for an expansion soon. So we want to find these inflection points at trend support to look for a trade. And if it breaks that, breaks that trend line downwards, we're going to look to take it short. 
If it breaks it upwards, I'll have no problem looking to continue the trend and look to take it long. But what I'm looking for is inflection points because I know that the stock is ready to make a big move once it breaks either higher or lower from this inflection point. Those are the main things I'm looking for when looking for a short setup. Hope you learned something.